Michael. So how was the team this year? First year going into Cornell, NCAA tier one. Yeah, you know, that's a big that's a big dog team right there. Like yeah, no, I I know going in like. Um, I don't know, like maybe some of the returning guys had expectations to have a really good year. I mean, the rookies or freshmen, we didn't really know what to expect that way. I mean, How many had, freshmen on the team? We had nine. Okay, that's so good. Pretty, that feel, that must feel class. comfortable. Like, yeah, you know. so we had a good group of us, um, you know, a lot of good guys. The whole team kind of, um, our coaches do a good job kind of judging guys through the recruiting process and bringing in some some good character guys so yeah. the room room was really good it's one of the one of the best rooms if not the best that i've been in really um, in your first year yeah wow. you know you like I'm trying to think of a name like morgan baron like you obviously guys, yeah, yeah know him well and know the character he has um so going in like i knew you know we'd have a good leader in him but um showing up and it's almost like having a full room of guys um with that same character and, yeah and stuff obviously uh makes it pretty easy and it's a big reason that we had the success we did so yeah. Um, it was really good that way. Obviously, there's a lot of adjustments school-wise, and then um, on the ice, it's a huge jump from prep school to that. But um, all in all, it worked out well, and uh, I really enjoyed it. Give me an, an example of Morgan's leadership, because we've, we've had a, we've had him on the podcast once, and yeah, you know, we, I've only talked to him for an hour. But every time we have someone on the podcast, and Morgan's name is brought up, they always talk about his leadership ability, his personality, and how you know, gr- you know, not great of a person he is, but just how sound of a hockey player he is yeah. give me an example of of what you took from morgan this year um honestly like i roomed with him on the roads and and sat side of the room That's so sick. yeah so i was lucky to spend a lot of time um like around him and obviously knowing him before yeah um was big but i don't know i think it was just kind of like around the room like there's not a guy that he wasn't buddies with kind of thing okay um he could kind of connect with anybody and uh really good at making everybody feel like included and stuff so um, you know, he's not like the, the cool guy in the room that will kind of ignore some of the younger guys or, yeah. or a guy that might not play as much, you know, kind of on a hockey team. If a guy's not as good, maybe he's not, not as cool type thing, but, yeah. um, I mean, there's none of that with him and, um, all the, all the guys on the team really. So, um, I think that's a big thing that kind of shows his leadership and, um, you know, if you're a good person and, and treat people well, then you're going to get along with him and, um, yeah, I think that's that's one of the main things that I noticed. Sounds like a classic Maritimer, just like yeah. an overall good person. Yeah, exactly. He's just one of those guys that makes everybody feel yeah. feel like they can fit in and enjoy themselves.